forgive me. I, I, it's, it's been some time. I'm lying, it hasn't been some time. I just graduated in April. Hey everyone, welcome back. As usual, hope you can comment, subscribe, like, share this. Thank you for watching today's episode. Today I wanted to address a question that's been quite frequent on my Instagram page, Dr. Barron. And the question goes as follows. Why did I choose the specialty that I decided to? So before I get into that, my disclaimer is that every specialty is different rightfully so, but it's very important that you pick a specialty that's in line with your career and future aspirations, your lifestyle and your personality. And when I speak on lifestyle, I'm talking about, okay, do I want to physically be in a hospital 24 hours a day or majority of the day? Do I want to be in an environment that's high stress? Do I want to be in a completely sterile environment all the time? Do I want to be in a dark room all the time? So your lifestyle preferences and what you can actually see yourself doing for the rest of your career is extremely important when you put that into consideration. If the specialty is in conflict or causes tension to the things I mentioned before, it can cause unhappiness and nobody wants to affect their mental health because of a profession. So those are very important things to keep in mind. And with that being said, we can get started. Third and fourth year of medical school, it's very important because it's now a time that other than your core rotation, which consists of internal medicine, surgery, family medicine, pediatric, psychiatry, and if I've forgotten another one, forgive me, I, I, it's, it's been some time. I'm lying, it hasn't been some time. I just graduated in April. So anyway, other than your core rotations, then you have electives. And with electives, you can fine tune into that specialty because then you can interact with the residents, the attendant, the fellows, and staff that is involved in that specialty. So the reason why I chose internal medicine is a multitude of things, but the most important was the relationship that an internist has to have, especially with other specialties. You're essentially a detective, uh, be it Sherlock Holmes or someone else, because you're in front of a patient, you're given a set of symptoms or an issue that hasn't been solved. And as an internist, you have a plethora of questions you can ask everyone, but the fun or the, the passion for this specialty is that you start streamlining your questions based on similar findings. So it's like almost analogous to a computer. You're being given so much information and then you start processing it and compartmentalizing it. And for some reason, that just like, that's so exciting to me. And it fits with my lifestyle. I don't want to be in the hospital 24 seven. I mean, I'm being honest. Some specialties, I don't want to name them, but you do have to allot time <laughs> to the hospital. So anyway, another thing with internal medicine is the fact that you have to be good with your people skills. You have to be good with being able to communicate with others, to work as a team. I always envision it as like a court. Even in my personal statement, and I feel like that's why program directors were able to bring that up in my interviews because they were like, okay, why do you see it as a sport? In sports, you have different positions, you have different skill sets, but they're all uniting for the common goal of winning. So if you translate that to the medical field, with internal medicine, you have to be able to work in a team with other specialties, other staff, and you're all uniting for a common goal, which is the patient care. So it helps you to be very personable. It helps you to think on your feet. You have to be able to like plug in the clues that you see in order to come up with a solution. And apart from those things too, I'm a people person, so it made sense. Internal medicine, you're able to see different patients in your clinic. You're able to follow down and monitor them or see them when something is really, really wrong. So much things in internal medicine aligned with my values. I felt like it was a no brainer. And not even that, specialty has so many fellowship opportunities that you can literally find a subspecialty that is so unique and fits you and you will find it through internal medicine and going through a fellowship. So before I started filming this video, I really wanted to talk about all of the specialties, but then I realized it wouldn't be fair. I wouldn't be doing justice to them. So sometime down the line, I hope to be able to talk to colleagues who are in different specialties and maybe that would be the most effective. So that's my little spiel on internal medicine. Of course, it's not in depth because I do always want to keep these videos short. So until next time, I do appreciate the support. Okay. Thank you very much.